Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find equivalent fractions using number lines. We will go through some examples together, and then we will end with some practice problems. Now remember, equivalent fractions are fractions that represent the same amount. They represent the same part of a whole. In other words, equivalent fractions represent the same value. Let's jump into number one, where we have two number lines. The top number line is showing thirds. There are three equal parts between zero and one. The bottom number line is showing sixths. There are six equal parts between zero and one. We're going to find two equivalent fractions here. One third is equivalent to how many sixths? And two thirds is equivalent to how many sixths? Now, as far as equivalent fractions on number lines, equivalent fractions are going to be at the same place on a number line, the same position. Let's start with part A of number one. One third is equivalent to how many sixths? So looking at one third, which is right here, right below, we can see that two sixths is at the same place on the number line. One third and two sixths are at the same place between zero and one. They are the same distance from zero. So one third and two sixths are equivalent fractions. And we can see that with those number lines. Moving on to B, we have two thirds is equivalent to how many sixths? Two thirds is right here. Well, right below, we can see that four sixths is at the same place on the number line. Two thirds and four sixths are equivalent fractions. Let's move on to number two, where we have four eighths is equivalent to how many halves. The top number line, we have eighths, and then the bottom number line, we have halves. Four eighths is right here. And we can see that one half is at the same place on the number line. These are equivalent fractions. Four eighths and one half are equivalent fractions. Lastly, let's take a look at number three, where we have a number line showing fourths and a number line showing eighths. We're going to find three equivalent fractions here using these number lines. Let's start with part A. One fourth is equivalent to how many eighths? Well, one fourth is right here on the number line, and we can see right below that two eighths is in the same place. These are equivalent fractions. One fourth and two eighths are equivalent. So that was A. Now let's move on to B, where we have two fourths is equivalent to how many eighths? Two fourths is right here on the number line. And if we look right below, we can see that four eighths is at the same place. These are equivalent fractions. Two fourths and four eighths are equivalent. And then lastly, for C, we have three fourths is equivalent to how many eighths? Three fourths is right here on the number line. And then looking right below, six eighths is at the same place on the number line. Three fourths and six eighths are equivalent fractions. So now that we've gone through some examples together, it's time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems, where you need to find the equivalent fractions. Now for number one, there's going to be one equivalent fraction. For number two, there are two equivalent fractions. And for number three, there are four equivalent fractions. I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that's two minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are the answers for number one. One half is equivalent to three sixths. For number two, part A, one third is equivalent to three ninths. For part B, two thirds is equivalent to six ninths. Moving on to number three, part A, one fifth is equivalent to two tenths. Part B, two fifths is equivalent to four tenths. Part C, three fifths is equivalent to six tenths. And then lastly, part D, four fifths is equivalent to eight tenths. So there you have it. There's how to find equivalent fractions using number lines. Just keep in mind, equivalent fractions are at the same place, the same position on a number line. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.